guys had to start this game. You had to be real pleased. Yeah, very pleased. Um, yeah, I did. You know, yesterday you could tell we were, you know, just pressing. You know, because we knew we wanted to respond the right way from just, uh, you know, just a, as bad as a Friday night could have gone. And so it was almost like we were trying too hard and, you know, had to, like Blake said, had to take a deep breath and just, you know, play mentally free. And um, so that kind of, the three spot in the eighth inning yesterday, I mean, we had to, we had to flip the scoreboard three different times. Uh, in the third, the fourth, and the eighth. I mean, it was just one of those back and forth type games. So this team is tough. It's it's a resilient team. We did come out complacent and flat on Friday. That's my fault. Uh, and, but, you know, they they won ugly yesterday, and then we played very well today. You know, really until the ninth inning, throwing the bun away. That was a very clean pitching and defensive game. Um, it's exactly what we wanted to see because it's – you know, the, the level, the standard that, you know, not only we expect, but, you know, we just want to be consistently good in those, especially those two categories. Um, so that's postseason baseball, pitching, defense, timely hitting. That's what wins in the ACC and um, certainly what's going to be needed moving forward, especially next weekend. That was not a very freshman-like performance today from me. Is, is that what you guys have seen from him? Often he's, in yeah, he's not your typical freshman. He's just – he's – very routine oriented. Um, he's a student of the game. He's always working on his craft. He's a very hard worker. Uh, he's one of those guys that watches film on his own. I mean, he's he's got a little Spencer Strider-ish um, in terms of mental game, routine, discipline to the routine, um, the things that he does in preparation to the start. It's just it's different. Um, it's not, it's, it's an older, you know, it's an old soul, very mature kid. So he's, he's beyond his years mentally, but um, he's also very advanced physically for, for a freshman. Uh, but that's what we've seen uh, through the fall and the preseason. And that's why we put him on the weekend. Um, yeah. Uh, we know what well, Taylor's capable of at the plate. Um, yeah. As a coach, you got to be part psychologist. When when a guy's slumping like he is, how how do you handle that as a coach? I mean, he's Willie T's tough, and he you know he anything he hits his way into, he's going to hit his way out of. And so we just keep putting him in there. He's never coming out, and um, he's just one of those guys that uh, they're going to fall. He's too good. Uh, if he hit three of those balls yesterday, he might have had three homers. You know, he put a, put a few on the screws today, and that's really all you want when, whenever the game is, you're in a valley, and that's a peaks and valleys part of this game. There's going to be ebbs and flows. Uh, Performance-wise, what he's doing a really good job of right now is he's not his mentality is not following that same uh, dip or. Um, and that's what made him so good last year, is, is his mentally, he was more on that plateau of being able to stay centered. And uh, he's not down right now, and he's cheering for his teammates, and he knows that the game's going to come back to him, and he's going to get hot, and he's going to be one of our dudes, as he always is. And, um, so, yeah, he's being tested a little bit, hitting some balls hard right at people. Um, but he'll be fine. I'm not, not worried about him one bit. Eric, it's uh, now two weeks in. You feel like you're where you want to be at right now, or, or what's some things maybe you'd like to see? Maybe you guys get better at, or something like that. Yeah, we we've given up too many uh, too many opportunities to the other team in terms of whether it be walks, hit by pitches, errors, extra nineties, whatever that category is. When we've been, I think three of our seven games, uh, maybe four now with today, four of our seven games we've been in the single digit category there and those have been when we've you know allowed three three two two runs in a game uh, and then when we've had you know walks errors extra 90s those have been the the high scoring so just being very consistent and in being stingy on defense we want to be greedy on offense but stingy on defense from a pitching and defensive standpoint um, but yeah, I mean, we're, we're getting guys on base. Um, you know, we don't look at 
runners left on base, we look at the execution of being able to get them over, get them in, that percentage. Um, so it looks like we leave a lot of guys on base because we get a lot of guys on base. Um, but the quality at bats have been good. There's only been, I think, one of the seven games where we haven't hit our quality at bat goal. Um, so we've been good in that category. Uh, but all, all in all, seeing good things. Uh, the communication on the field, that's an area of focus. Some mental mistakes we can clean up. But, I mean, it's, it's all part of it. There, there's a lot of things, actually. I mean, we, we do a full debrief after every game. Like, there's 24 things we're measuring. It's, I don't want to bore you with all that, nor do I want to tell you, because I don't want the other teams to know. But it's... Um, it's we're doing pretty good in those categories uh, of just executing our game goals. And when we don't, it looks like Friday and Saturday. Saturday we didn't either. Um, but when we have a day like today where you, you know, it's like, it's like offense, defense, special teams in football, we have pitching, defense, offense, and it's, it's those three categories uh, as well as some team goals. But our guys are doing a good job. Coach, uh, Reed Garris had a nice season last year out of the pen, 4-0. Um, haven't seen him yet. Is, is he battling through some injuries right now? Or? He, he feels ready to go. He's, um, he did, yeah, he, he didn't have an injury. He's just kind of like how Austin Gordon was on a, on a different kind of a, a ramp. But he should be back, if not this coming weekend, the following weekend for sure. But I know he's pushing for this coming weekend. Last year, um, you got USC Upstate coming up, um, and last year you got Baltimore Greenfield. What does their team look like this year? <clears throat> what does their team look like? Yeah. I, have, I have no idea, but they're always good. I'll watch them tonight and tomorrow, and in preparation for Tuesday. But um, or our, our staff will as well. And the, you know, those guys are unbelievable at breaking down film and video and reports. Our, our whole staff just puts a lot of time into it. Coach Schnabel, Coach Bellinger, Coach Mazer, Phil Pohl, Ben Paulson. I mean, these guys are just, you know, just relentless with breaking it down. So I think the, the whole staff, all of us, will, will really take a, a good deep look because we know we got, we got beat by them in Greenville last year, so we cannot overlook them and, uh, and start thinking about about the Gamecocks. It, it is South Carolina week and that weekend will get here, but we have to stay locked in and focused on USC Upstate for Tuesday. Plan to start Austin, Gordon? Yeah, we'll start start Gordo. Yeah, maybe a little bit uh, shorter than usual, just so he's ready for the weekend as well. Any other questions? Go. All right.